Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's Thursday, August 4th, 3.37 in the afternoon. And in about 48 hours, we should be out at the Southern Oregon Speedway competing for this weekend's local show. And this is what the car looks like that I'm gonna be driving. So, uh, yeah, we got some work to do. Um, nothing we definitely can't handle. It's funny, as a race car driver, you know, I think uh, in some areas of your life, you know, you'd be like, man, we just have way too much to do. But in racing, you always try to convince yourself that you don't. You're like, we'll just keep going, we'll just keep getting it done, we'll just keep moving along. We don't have that much to do, we can still go racing, no problem. But so this is this afternoon's project. Uh, this is the car that has been upstairs for most of our season. We've had this thing in our program for probably like the last two years and we were planning on maybe selling it at the end of the season and we're like, you know, we set it off to the side. We're not going to have to run that thing. We're not going to have to run that car at all. Um, it's going to be just fine. It'll be a great car for upstairs. Sure enough, how the year has went, um, we have it down here on the ground. So the breezeway car is down to a bare frame. That is off getting fixed right now. And now, I don't know, we're gonna have to come up with a name for this one. That was upstairs, we got it down, it's in the race shop. I gotta put an engine in, uh, change probably some torsion bars, maybe swap the body out so I actually have my paint scheme on because like I said, we weren't planning on racing it. So we're like, we don't even need to wrap it. It's gonna be just fine. Um, but so we got work to do. That's this, today's project and finish it up tomorrow. Get loaded, get to race 25 minutes from the house this weekend, which we are stoked about. Gonna get to race also in front of a lot of people that I know, family and friends that don't get that opportunity all the time. Uh, but let's get to work, let's get this thing done. And maybe in the meantime, while this video is going on, you guys come up with a cool name for this car. So it's 8.30 right now and the engine is in the car. And I think for the most part, that is gonna wrap up our work for tonight. I have all tomorrow to get this thing done. It's still kind of crum crunch time here at the end of the week, but it's mainly all little jobs and other preparational stuff. I gotta go through kind of our tire selection and see if anything needs to be flipped or what's good, what's bad. Uh, but since we're just racing close to home and it's the limited, I only need you know a handful of left rears, a handful of right rears. And then we'll finish putting this thing together and do ride heights and make sure to scale it since we haven't ran it all season how excited are you to get to race 25 minutes from the house i'm excited don't have to drive anywhere don't have to drive anywhere maybe you can drive this time maybe and we're wrapping up tonight we just had knoxville on but since that is complete we got deadliest catch on the tv like i said a little bit more work but i'll catch up with you guys in the morning And the 18T is officially sitting on the ground. I've been working down here in the garage most of the day, had to mount tires, had to change the rear bars, and ultimately just finish kind of getting everything all hooked up. I won't lie, I'm kind of a slow worker in the garage too. I just really have to take my time and think about things and decisions. And like when I talk about tires, for example, you know, it takes me a minute to really think about, you know, what we need to flip, what needs to be grooved, what needs to be just completely thrown away. And I have to really think about each decision. I'm not great at making decisions like that. So it just takes me time. Or sometimes I ask a buddy, what is he think and I just kind of get a little a little indecisive so maybe if you guys have that quality uh, let me know also had to reblock the front and the back and kind of get our setup on this thing and like I said we'll kind of see what it measures and what it looks like on the scales and then after that we are gonna get it all fired up and make sure that we're even gonna be able to hit the track because this is the engine that was in the 22 C uh, when she crashed granted I think everything should be fine we turned it over afterwards when we pull it out of the car we inspected it but you just never know so we're definitely gonna fire here before we head to the races and make sure nothing is off.
to tow the 18T in. So we're locked and loaded, ready to head to the Southern Oregon Speedway. And the best part about me telling you that is like as the crow flies, we're probably two or three miles from the racetrack just that direction. It's just like a straight line right over there. Which is so cool, I can't tell you how excited it makes me to get to race close to home and just at like the racetrack that I fell in love with, with sprint cars and outlaw carts and dirt racing in general. And you just have to understand, like we don't get that opportunity all the time. I know a lot of you guys, like all you do is race local. For us, there's not a lot of tracks in our area and there's just not a lot of local racing. We have to travel, you know, two, three hours, which isn't bad, but even upwards of, you know, you guys have seen us go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like we go all up and down the West Coast because we're just racers and we want to race. And we also want to go up against the best competition. So it's pretty sweet when this thing gets to race close to home it makes our jobs a lot easier and like you guys saw 48 hours ago this thing was nowhere near race ready but we worked Thursday afternoon we worked uh, most of yesterday got it loaded Saturday heck we're loading the day of race day that's weird um, loaded and now we're ready to uh, hit the track later this afternoon So since it's just a local race today, we didn't want to bring the toter, get it all dirty and whatnot. There was just no need, but we had to find a way to get our big trailer just down the road. So my dad's using his low boy. Got it all hooked up. We are Southern Oregon Speedway down. Should be there in approximately five, seven minutes. And we're going racing tonight. Wish us luck. Thank you guys so much for watching.